Everybody's your boyfriend, Martin, and here we go with what winds my crank with Mr. Frank. So what's winding my crank today is that a man is found innocent after 30 years in prison. Now here's what happens. A man was convicted for rape and robbery back in 1980 and was sentenced to prison for 80 years. Now, according to what happened in the court case back in 1979, this particular man allegedly raped and stole some stuff from a lady and uh, they arrested this guy. He claimed he was innocent all the way and he had two chances for parole. Only thing he had to do was admit that he did the crime and they would give him parole. But he said, no, I'm innocent and I'm going to keep claiming my innocence and he continued to do so. In doing that, basically just angered them and made them want to keep him in for 80 years. Well, as of recently, they just found some DNA evidence that uh, they could not use back in the 1980s because of lack of technology, and they actually found that he wasn't the guy, and that the original person who was the rapist may still be at large. I mean, that, that just seems wrong to me, because now this guy has spent 30 years of his life in prison. He's never going to get that 30 years back all for nothing. It's like you sitting inside of your house, you're watching TV, you only thing you did th throughout the day was go to work, visit your friend's place, you came home at night to watch some TV, all of a sudden the cops bust in and arrest you for murdering an entire family, and you have no alibi because you were on the road at the time by yourself. And when you sit there and go, oh no, but I left my friend's house and I was coming home, so like, well, was anybody with you? He's like, no. Well, then it's your word versus theirs. And then you end up serving 30 years in prison for nothing. So that brings me to the question of the day. Should there be a payback for false imprisonment? I believe there should. I believe there should be a chart. How long you've been in prison? What kind of prison were you in? Were you in minimum security, maximum security prison? Were you put in solitary confinement? All these things should be put into some sort of equation to say here is the round number that we now owe you for making you lose so many years of your life. And the thing is, there's more and more people who are being found innocent for charges that were way back in the 1980s, 1990s, because now people are actually reopening up the cases and using DNA to pin them to the crime, finding out that they weren't even there. So, to me, I think that we as a people, we owe it to them to apologize, but not on only that, give them something for that time. I mean, think about if it was you. If you were in prison for 30 years and they just let you out with nothing, would you like that? My name is Frank Martin and that's what winds my crank.